One. Here, Here we, we go. go. Jinx. Large margin slow boat. <laughs> and we see Smeargle Zern, just like we thought. Let's see how Haley handles this, because clearly no one all day has been able to handle Holmes from Smeargle Zern. She went for the relatively safe lead of Khan and Cresselia. Um, it's interesting. Smeargle Zern just applies so much initial pressure, there's just not much you can do to disrupt it. It's like you kind of have to just roll with the punches and then hope you take one of them out. Or pray that he doesn't get a good moody roll. It's honestly, it's it's a nightmare. Sorry, running uh, two tournaments here. It's tricky whilst commentating. 946 eggs. We. That is a lot of eggs. Better than my 25. I think mine is like two. Shout out to Action Replay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad battle test right there. 5,923 <laughs> points. You could really commentate college basketball well. Could I? Yeah. It, that, uh, my, my, my voice is is purely uh, Bob Euchre from Major League. I love Just Major a League. bit outside. Boy, <laughs> we never seem to get the close ones. <laughs> Ball eight. Ball 12. Ricky Vaughn has walked the bases loaded. <laughs> Oh, going for a skill swap shenanigans, trying to get Moody onto Cresselia from Haley. That was that was gutsy. She's obviously taking a page out of Eric's book on that one, just skill swapping everything and anything. Skill swap the skill swap. Skill swap the quad punch. Quad punch? Yeah. Dude, it's quad edge. It's both. Nah, dude. There's yeah, only both. there is only one. It's both. And it is quad edge. It's, it's quad edge. I got quad punch stuck in my head from the Metagross last game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though it'd be more like Octopunch, since for some reason he has four arms on his back. Dude, Octopunch sounds pretty hype, too. I can dig it. I don't know. That's season two. <laughs> season two of our... Octopunch. Octopunch. Yeah. Sequel to Quad Edge. Z Intimidates. Coming I'm out on the con there. I'm curious named the Salamence Bane. Cue the Bane voice. Because he was born in the dark. Yes, Batman. That was okay. That was good. That was horrible, Tommy. You merely adopted you the darkness. You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it. I was born in it. That was too much. Mine's perfect, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Eric has just been getting geomancies up all day. He's going to take a little bit from that return. Yeah, that's a good. I'm curious. Oh, my God. Look at the damage on that after being at minus one still. It's so that's ridiculous. That's still pretty rough. Yeah, that's going to actually hurt the Sally pretty hard. Yeah. It's enough, and it's going to drop their speed. So now the, the Zern is sitting at plus one, which is still nice. Yeah, definitely. So he's still going to outspeed here. He, he just he needs to drop a Moonblast bomb yep. on that he con needs to right take now. Someone out. Like he needs to like double edge Moonblast like right now. Moonblast. I mean, he needs the quad edge. Yeah. No one's ready for the quad edge, bro. I think that'd break the game. You're going to break the game. You're so <laughs> good. It's a high score. Did I break it? What does that even that mean? mean? With Drew Bain. So we see him just Back to the Salamence. darkness. <laughs> He goes <laughs> where he was born. I was wondering what would break fast. Your spirit. Oh, your body. I couldn't take him serious in that movie. <laughs> I don't think anyone could. He was dope, man. Was and we dope. see the icy one coming out again. Um, Just spam it. It's what you do. They're going to be at minus six pretty soon. <laughs> oh, oh minus that, that's a problem. <laughs> Even still at plus one, that's a problem. Yeah. Here comes the dark void. You know it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Ugh. Dark Void protect? I think he protected last turn with Zern. That's oh, why the oh Icy Wind did, didn't huh? hit. That's right. So he's still sending a plus one with Zern and plus one with Smeargle. Well, like, ugh. he could just follow me right now. I'd go for the Dark Void. <laughs> I mean, he could easily get killed, though, before he gets it off. How? Oh. Khan. He's still faster. He went for the follow me. Interesting. I, don't know, I lost track of the minus one plus one shenanigans. Here comes a plus one. It did KO last time. Let's see if it does again. It does it KO is. again. One KO. Big threat removed for Eric right there. And Crest just spamming the icy win. And now they're both sitting at neutral again. Yeah. Let's see if Eric gets another another OP moody roll. Oh, Ooh, Lord. Accuracy. Oh, man. The dark void is coming. Oh, man. 
What, She's, what is the Dark Force accuracy? 80%? Yeah, it's 80%. But 80%. It, it's got like a 60-something percent chance to hit both. I think it's like 67. Okay. Once you factor in spread. Now. Now? Uh, yeah, now. It's probably closer to 100%. Yep. She's got to bring in something faster than Smeargle and get it out of there. Yep. Or she's it's going to hurt. Right. She's thinking, too. Yeah, this is a long switch time. Yeah, this is a long pause. Yep. Here we go. What do we see? The Cheer Snowball. Cheer Snowball. That's such a good name. I like it. I'm against naming Pokemon, but the ones today have been pretty good. Dude, Donkey Tron. Ferrisnarf. Shu. I mean, Shu is Oh, well, let's talk about let's talk about my uh, Sally. Oh, Fat Dactyl. Fat Dactyl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think the Moody PMS Smeargle may take it. You know what? I, I'll, I, I definitely. That is a tip of the hat to him, indeed. Oh man. This so is crest. This is an intense game. Have we seen gravity from her crest today at all? No. We have not. It was all a, uh, meow stick. Ah. Interesting play coming up here. Well, we see the crest. I mean, the crest is still sitting at full HP, and is also packing a citrus berry. It's going to be out there for a while. Yep. With the magic coat, expecting the dark void. Magic coat crest. Let's see what happens. That is cool. Follow me. Home from Reddit. Yep. And that's a one-hit KO is he, if he goes on the Chernobyl. Misses. Oh. What? Both of them? That's rough. Blizzard never hits, though, man. And see it to cure him white. Yep. Hey, she took a gamble. Yep, yep. It's Sometimes a bold strategy. Let's see if it pays it's off. It's a bold for strategy, her. Cotton. Let's see if it pays <laughs> off for. Yeah, I talked to Haley before. I talked to Haley before the match, and she said she really wants to win. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Holmstrom prayed to R and Jesus before his matches today. He's been the recipient of some very good rolls and luck. He really has all day. Not that I'm trying to diminish his value as a player, because he's fantastic. He is fantastic. But when an extremely high that's, level that's good what it player, is. He makes his own luck, son. Yeah. He does he does work himself into really advantageous. He does. So, like it, he plays ahead. Yeah, like so well. He does it so well. But I mean when you when you couple an extremely high level player with this kind of RNG, you're unstoppable. And then Zerny Smirgle lead? Yep. G I I won't be surprised if he leads it again next game. He hasn't lost Why anytime would he? he's led it. Yeah. Stay with what works. Every single smir Smirgle Zerny I saw at VGC, I was terrified of that lead and then the Dark Void. Yep. The the guys I played never let it, and never I never saw a Dark yep. Void. That hurt. Crit. With the crit. 6.25%. 6.35. 6.3. 6.3. Here comes the Rock Slide. That should be able to pick up the KO on Smirgle. It does. Very nice. What's always interesting to me for me to see is you, you usually see redirectors being incredibly bulky, like a Moon gets her Toga Kiss. You've got a two-hit Pokemon in Smeargle spamming follow me for several turns on end. He he has been staying in longer than expected. Really, really yeah. long. And, and the Salamence comes in, but Groudon's going to have to put in some work here. Yeah. He's also intimidated. Yeah. And it's full physical. This is why I'd, I like Mixed Pete on for this situation. And the This fact is a rough situation regardless, though, because uh, the Geomancy's up on... Yep. Yeah, and you're not going to hit uh, yeah, Sally with any ground moves. No. So he's it's really in a lose-lose. You've got to hope for the rock slide for something. It's not even going to be an issue here because Eric outsped with both his Pokemon. And gets another crit. Just add insult to injury here. That's going to do it. Game one, right? Decisive game one. Decisive game it, one. I'd put it like that. Yeah. I mean, they have been playing each other a lot today. She's... She's got to do something here. She's got to think a little outside the box. Yeah, yeah. She needs to throw some curveballs, man, for sure. Uh, first things first, she needs to find a way around Smeargle's urn. And I don't think she really has one. I was going to say, what do you think her best answer is? I'm trying to I'd, think. I haven't seen any taunt from her, have we? Maybe the Meow Six carrying it? I haven't seen it. I, that's the answer for her right now. Because it's a scarfed... Or excuse me, it's, it's a sash. Sash Smeargle. That was another thing, too, that I was always worried about. Scarf Smeargle? Um, no, um, Mental Herb. Ah. Yeah, it's tough, and because... Because he's still going to get a Dark Void off. The Smeargle is carrying Crafty Shield. With a good read, you completely neutralize the taunt. Exactly. There's nothing you can do. Yep. There's no surefire way to beat that lead. Well, I mean, it's if he's... Yeah, he could be... He could be sashed, and then he Crafty Shields, and then you have to 
and even you, if you, you do a full power time. eruption, yeah. you know, with your other Pokemon, yep. you know, you're still in that spot where... And he still can follow me the next turn. Yep. Yep. I don't know what that was about. Holmstrom doing a little... He looks thrilled right now. A little swag. A little swag. He's feeling himself. He is feeling himself. Trying to get in her head, I think. Look at... Got her chuckling a little bit. She's covering her mouth. She doesn't want to let him know that, that he's getting to her. I feel like he had a few more IPAs in between rounds. He's looking a lot looser. He does. He really does. Look at him. <laughs> the rare smile. This is the first. I was Holmstrom. just about to say, this is the first time I've ever <laughs> seen him smile. And we got uh, Jackson in the back holding his homework. Hey, he's still being cool about it. If, if I were him, I, I probably would have talked trash to him, said some mean things, and walked away. <laughs> And retire again from Pokemon. <laughs> after that shellacking he got. You yeah, would have after I that would've. RNG. You absolutely would have. I probably would have started throwing things. <laughs> Your game pack. Yeah. Just done. And here we go. I want to see Holmstrom's notes. I want to see what he's writing down. Uh, he's. I told you it's grocery list. He's like six pack of IPA, six pack <laughs> of IPA. <laughs> <laughs> and now we see Haley's what seems to be standard lead at this point. Here we go. No, she's been leading Groudon. Um, I like this lead a little bit better, though. For her? Yeah. I do, I too. Just, I like Kiram White's ability to spam and, perfect and, uh, accuracy blizzards. Yeah, and I think that uh, and she's going to get Sally in the gravity as well. S yeah. Okay. Sally needs to leave. It's. A yep. I think Holmstrom was definitely um, reading the Groudon lead. Yep. So he, he brought Sally in. Yep. The Intimidate here is useless. What he needs to do is skill swap off that Prankster on Miasic again. That would be hype. That would neutralize Meowsic quite a bit. And I mean, it's still blazing skill, fast. And then skill swap Parental Bond from Kangaskhan, and then skill swap... Will we see the quad edge? And then skill swap to Salamence. Can we tell him to do quad edge? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> What's... It? Throws a protective. Okay. I, I like how he's, he's been leaving Salamence in base form until he absolutely needs to go Mega to try to preserve that Intimidate. I've always done the same thing. I think... I think because, you know, when I was uh, learning with my team, I can't tell you how many times where I popped Mega, and the next turn, I was like, damn, I wish I still yeah. had uh, Intimidate. Oh, no, no way! Payback. Okay. Payback. Payback. The Payback. Frozen Solid. Payback. Oh, man. I hate to say he had it coming because I love the dude, but he had <laughs> but it you're coming. A, but, but you're 100% yeah. right. He definitely did. Jackson, Jackson is probably doing a dance around the yeah, building he's right like, now for that one. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> My my RNG's Avenged. prayers have been answered. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Crest is done. And, and then uh, Holmstrom just laughing at his slightly higher battle test <laughs> score, <laughs> rubbing it in Haley's face. <laughs> and pulls Salamence out because he sees that he's in a really the bad position. The only thing is, is, is protecting with Salamence first. Yeah. Like Haley knows he's a hundred percent gonna switch him out turn two, but she probably read the switch the switch out the first time around. Agreed. Yeah, so I guess it's not a bad. It's kind of a mix up, really. Desolate land. That sounds so epic. I like primordial sea better. Primordial Pri is just it's got a weight to it. Primordial sea. That blizzard did not hit as hard as I remember it hitting last time, so that that must have been kind of a bad roll. I think his groudon's got some special defense, and it probably just survived an earth power from another pedon. Probably. Nice little psychic there. Yep. Of course, uh, Groudon's special defense is garbage. See, this is rough right now because what is Holmstrom going to do? Pull the Cresselia out for later? There's no point. There's zero point. You leave He's it in there to die. But now, but, now but now he can double, she can double target. Right. Crescent At Parker. will. Just yep. all day double target. And fortunately, her Meowstic has psychic, which yep. this is the perfect situation for her to be in. And of course, he probably wants to have that uh, Salamence out. But he cannot put that Salamence in front of Chirst Noble. Nope. Not with the scarf on it. Now, if he had knockoff, that'd be nice. But neither here nor there. What's the call, man? What's the call? It's tough. He's got his back against the wall right now. So really, he's just stalling. He's stuff trying out to burn right some here. gravity turns. Yeah. Which is very smart. It's smart. But he needs to. He needs Hopefully to. Hopefully, he needs to set up a, a KO. Yep. On the um the Kirim. Yep. Yeah, Man, he's got to hope she keeps double targeting the crest like that. He needs to get it out of there. How can you thaw a frozen Pokemon? Uh, with Scald. If the Pokemon that's frozen uses Scald, it unthaws. And I do believe there's a small, very slight chance to unthaw. Yeah. 
I'm not sure though. Because I think back in the day, if you use like a fire move or something, it would. I don't know. I actually don't know. No, it wasn't. They were frozen forever. That is it, man. Yeah, red and blue. That's why everything had blizzard. No, I mean like X, I mean I'm talking like oh. X and Y days. Yeah, I believe it's just yeah. If you hit it with a fire move or or the the frozen Pokemon uses scald. Oh, and that's terrible for Holmstrom. He needed Crest to die right there. He really did. He really did. Oh, man. Now he's once again going to get double targeted Hey, here. this is setting it up for a very good game three. If yeah, Holmstrom it certainly can't, is. If Holmstrom can't fight back from this. Uh, I don't see how... I, I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. But he's it's basically two to four right now. Here we go again. He may get a free Geomancy right here. He well, just may. Why? We haven't seen Taunt off the Perseus right now. We're going to see the T-Wave going on to it. Which is huge. That's going to hurt. Yeah, and then we're going to see a Blizzard right now. Which but is the Blizzard's not going to... It's going to hit it. It's not going to hit it that hard. Unless she gets a crit. That's some good damage. Not some bad. nice damage. Yeah, put it in yellow. Finishes off the Cress. Goes for the Moonblast to take out the, the Kirim White. Interesting. Good play on Holmstrom's part. I, okay, that's exactly what he needed to do. Because he needed to get, like I said, he needed to get that uh, Kirim out of the way so he can bring in Sally. Yep. Okay, he's there not, we go, thinking ahead. He's, he's not, not in a ridiculous bad. situation here. Like, it's... Oh god. That now it's bad. <sighs> He's gonna get the intimidate though on the con. He will. And we haven't seen power up punch from the con yet, have we? I know. I with have her not running seen power return, up. she may have it. You think to so? be honest with you. Because return power up punch is more of a, a setup sweeper set. Yeah. Whereas we're, we're, it's and it's a little it's a little odd this year because pretty much every con I've seen is opting for double edge or quad edge. And going for the immediate <laughs> hard damage as opposed to trying to set up. There's only one who could wield the power of quad edge. <laughs> it's like Highlander. <laughs> it's the same the exact thing. One. Yeah, same exact thing. So he's opting to go Mega now. Which, as he should do, he can't try to stack Intimidate anymore because those are his last two. But here we go again. He playing ahead. He left his Salamence in base form until he absolutely needed the Mega. Yep. And it actually, it's, it 100% paid off, just like we were talking about. His back is is really, really up against the wall Absolutely. here right now. Because we're going to see, we're definitely going to see a T-Wave come out. Yep. Yep. There it is. Return and on Zern. And it's going down. You think so? Oh, that's yeah. it. That's it? Yep. Oh, this is, this is a donezo. Yep. Haley's taking game, game So two. we're going to see a Prankster T-Wave right here and a, another return, I'm sure. I'd probably just go for the, uh, I'd probably go for Psychic return right here. You think so? Yeah, maybe. I, I would know. go. We don't I know would go T Wave because yeah, it, yeah again, again, again we don't know who's in the yeah. back. And for me, it's like when I have three Pokemon, I want to cripple that other Pokemon as much as I can. Yeah. And yeah, T Wave yeah. comes out. That was safe. I'd go for the style points. I want to get that three zero. Uh, you would. I don't care. That's rough. Holmes Man. is being paid back in full. He really this is game. the first uh, move with Paralyze, and he doesn't get it, huh? Oh, it's game. That's so rough. now. Oh, and the second one crit. So now we're going to see a Psychic return. Yep. And that's that's game. Holstrom's not going to get another attack. Now what she should do right now is paralyze her con. <laughs> you, that's swag points. Ultimate swag points. <laughs> that's ultimate swag points. Like when I tried to T-wave my own Pokemon. Oh, when you were in I Trick Room? And I got fully And you got fully paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, man, if, if that gamble would have paid off, you would, it would have been godlike. Yeah, I would have looked like a genius. You would have gone down in history. Someone would have wrote about it on Nugget Bridge. And now I just look like an idiot. And now you're like, God, you're retarded. <laughs> So Haley battling back there. She did have RNG on her side, but I do think she put her she set herself up for good positions. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. She played it well. But a large part of that win right there, and I don't want to devalue it, was RNG. The fact that Holmstrom's Cresselia was frozen and out of play for so many turns. Yeah. Is just ridiculous because then she could just focus the partner and not have to worry about it. Yep. Nothing he could do, and that crest just wouldn't die. Nope. So uh, the turn he needs it to die it <laughs> yes. doesn't die. <laughs> So here we go, going into game three. This I is think that's the first time I've ever seen a Crest being too bulky. In Pokemon, that's you can true. never be too bulky. This time, Crest was too bulky. Too much bulk. How bizarre. So this is pretty hype, man. A it nice is. grand finals here, going into game three. Now, did she win that match because she got lucky with the 10% uh, chance of I do think of frozen? so. You think so? Yeah. All right. I mean, can she battle back here? I think she made some smart plays, but that, that freeze was just killer. 
in this format, anything worst. like that is killer. That is the worst feeling ever, especially at VGC when it's one and done. And that you get a to me last you get a, year. You get a Pokemon frozen, you're just like, all I right. I switch in my Rotom dub to forfeit. an obvious ice punch from a Metagross and get frozen. You're like, forfeit, done. I'm out. Yeah, that was a kid that was spamming Discharge on me. Oh, is that the I kid that said, and yeah. now it's... Now the fun begins. Now the fun begins. And was like, <laughs> maniacally twiddling his fingers. <laughs> Those crazy kids, man. It's like, oh, it'd be a shame if he got jumped in the parking lot later. That would be a shame. Same lead. Same lead. It worked Go for her last works. time. Spam those blizzards. Same lead. Shiny Chris. Love it. Interesting, because now Holmstrom. He's gonna have. Interesting. Yeah. He's he's playing he's playing off his back foot again. Yeah, he's gonna have to do the switch in, or is he is he gonna switch in, or is he gonna protect again like he did last time? I don't know. They're essentially playing the same the same first turn here. Yeah, they just. <laughs> Let's see if she gets another. <laughs> he freeze. moved his crest to the other yeah. side. He's like, I'll tell maybe you what the problem work. was. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Maybe he thought she was gonna switch it up, but with the success she had leading these two, I, I would have guessed she would have led the same thing. She? Yeah. Well, she did. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Oh, you're, you're I'm saying, saying he planned yeah, for a different lead. Yeah, I feel you. Whoa. She opts to bring in the grab on. Very. Uh, is she, I can is see she it. trying to read the, his switch? Possibly. Let's see what he does here. But, I mean, Groudon's actually not bad, whether. Goes for the protect turn one. Okay. Holmes from getting a little predictable here. Very unlike him. Oh, this crest is just a status magnet right now. Well, at least at least the crest can't get frozen now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Trick room going up, so that paralyze will help. Absolutely. Huge. Not that crest really needed it. No. That's gonna come into play here. This is a this is an interesting start. And again, Holmstrom just finds a way. He's seemingly on his back foot. Now he he's in control. However, the. Uh, Haley's Pedon did dodge the Intimidate from Salamence. Yes. So it will be thrown out. Oh, and he's going to Mega slides. Evolve. So he's... He wasn't trying to stack right here. is interesting because you would think he'd want to save... If it was me, I'd want to save the Salamence uh, for when she brings in that... Yeah. Uh, that con. But he just doesn't care. I think he's just going to try to drop bombs right now. Prankster? Prankster. Yep. There it is. Which is smart, because he probably read the gravity coming, so Levitate is a useless ability now. Might as well get Prankster. Yeah, and then also... So that gravity's going to hurt. Yeah. Here well, comes the Hyper, hyper Voice. voice. <laughs> That's going to do some alright damage. Honestly, I dropped Hyper Voice on, on my Salmon, so I just thought it was a little weak. Yeah, I feel you. It doesn't hit very hard. I mean, it's nice to have the spread. It's nice, but I mean... It looks like it's going to be a three-hit KO on both of them, which in doubles is not good. Nope. And Holmstrom just trying to buy time. It's interesting that he's trying to buy time in his own trick room. Oh, that's, and that's, fully paralyzed. That's unfortunately a wasted turn right there. I wonder if he's trying to stall out his own trick room right now. Which doesn't make too much sense. Because no, I was trying to. I was thinking the same thing. I'm trying to figure out why he would do that. Well, because the Groudon is going to underspeed everything and just spam Precipice Blades right now while Gravity's still out. Oh, okay. Well, he's okay. But then again, if he was trying to stall it out, if he can't take out the Meowstic in time, he's just going to eat another T Wave. Yeah, at least it's not Prankster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Ice Beam. Not going to do much. Not much at all. Here comes those P Blades. Holmstrom is like you said. I think he's kind of on his back foot right here. They're both Ooh. gonna live. That's gonna finish something off. Yep. Done. Bane is down. <laughs> Goodbye. Who's next? <laughs> no, it's he's weird thinking. to see Holmstrom with his back against the wall like this. It is, this. man. He's thinking hard right now. After such a decisive game one. Yeah, it was a huge game one. I think that freeze. So he's gonna get his own P Don out. Took the wind out of his sails on that one. He seems rattled.
So now, I wonder, the trick room's still up, correct? Correct. I wonder who's going to get the speed win here. I believe he will. It's critical. If I remember he, right. He would take out Toasty right now. Yeah, Toasty's within KO range. Yeah. If it hits. But if it, it will hits. hit because gravity's up. So gravity affects everyone correct. on the field? Correct. Interesting. Everyone's evasion is decreased by two stages. We'll see. If it ends up at a speed tie... Eric's just got to flip a coin and hope he, he's on the, the right side of it. Yeah, this is huge for him. This is really pivotable. Pivotable? Did pivotable, I just say that? Pivotable. Pivotable and quad edge. Is there any coming out? Take that home for later. Is there any coming out? He's counting trick room turns. Yep, he knows definitely. There's, I was just there's not say the too same many thing. left. Yeah. His peed on is slower. That's huge. Is it going to take out both? It's going to take out both. Here that we go again. Massive comeback from here. Here we go here. again. And now he's. Okay. Is oh man, he's just he's too much. Where are we at in trick room right now? I, right there, there it is. What a perfect switching on the thirty. Now too he's gonna pop Geomancy. He's just too much. You think he's gonna go Geomancy? Depends on who she's got. She's still got the Kirim White. Okay, I would just moon blast that immediately. Oh wait, he's gotta worry about the fake out. Yep. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. This she is saved tough. her best two for last. Yeah, the problem is though, is that although Khan kind of threatens everybody. That uh, Kyurum? I can never Kirim. say that. Kyurum. That Kyurum is getting one hit KO'd. Yeah. And it can. I don't think you can one hit KO either of them back. Uh, can he, can, uh, will it, will it just a regular Moon Blast one hit KO the, the Kyurum? Yes. Okay, so he doesn't even need Geomancy. No. He'll need it for Khan, though, but maybe he can get some help out from, from Pete on. But then again, he doesn't want to get left with that Crescent back. I don't know. You never want your support Pokemon to be left last. He might. Do you think he might swap it and just? No. Yeah, because maybe what if he tried Chris to swap do? it, so he can eat a fake Ice out. Ice beam. That's okay. That's a good. That's a good little guess. And then hopefully it lives long enough. Maybe set Trick Room up again. If that he's able to get Trick nice. Room up, he wins. But that seems like a long shot at this that point. That is going to be challenging. Get it, Lulu. Yep. Brings in Crest to eat a probable fake out. Yep, that's what's going to happen. Smart. I like that. Smart. So, so he's just going to try to chip away with the Grout on here. He's got to focus on that con. He doesn't need to worry about the Kyurum. No. Goes for the... Okay, he's so playing, just in he's case. He's been playing very passively. It hits. Definitely not going to freeze. Oh. It's not going to kill. Circle throw con. Wow. So that's a thing, huh? Wow. Well, that's a Zern answer. Circle throw? Yep. There you go. Phases him out. Really? Yep. Wow. Oh, man. She might be in a really good spot here to take this tournament. It depends. Khan doesn't have the fake out anymore. Yep. Is he going to go for just a straight moon blast, or is he going to Geomancy here? He's got a he's got a moon blast. He has to. He's got a moon and blast. Kirim's locked into Blizzard, and gravity went away. So what Kirim should do right now is protect, and then... No, Kirim can't protect. It's Scarfed. Locked into Blizzard. Oh, it's Choice Scarfed. That's right. Maybe he can dodge a Blizzard. Khan is the problem here. Oh, he dodged it. Zerny's going to eat it, though. Zerny's not the one you want eating it. Yep, and now Khan might be able to finish Zerny off. But She's this needs to finish Kirim Khan. off. It's going to. It has to. That's it. Kirim's and out of the way. she's opting to run bulky Khan, not max speed. Max speed, I feel this game may have been over. Yeah. Because that return's going to KO. Yep, that as Khan, it just did. If that Khan was a little that bit Kyurum, faster. The Kyurum would still be in play. Because Khan outspeeds Zern by one point. Really? Yep. Overheat. He's just throwing all the cards on the table yep. here. Caution to the wind. Let's see Oh, it. no. He's packing P-Blades, though. I know, but those are just... Okay. The accuracy is is <laughs> is scary, so yeah. basically he's got a hit with P blades, or yep. potentially he's gonna die. Yep, that's what this is coming down to right now. This is close. 
Oh. So I, so Khan is not going to outspeed the Groudon. No, oh, Khan it will. will outspeed the yeah, Khan, uh, yeah, Khan's going to outspeed the Groudon. He's she, he's going to eat a return. Although his defense is not bad. Who Groudon? Yeah, it's huge. That's what I'm saying. Like he, it's base 150. Right. I believe it's base 150. It could be a little higher. So Holmstrom, in my mind, turning this match around right now, into in, I think it's in his favor right now. It is. If he's able to, if Haley's able to dodge whatever. If she can dodge a P-Blade, she'll be in a good spot to finish him off. His return's going to do some hefty damage here. Yeah, and but it's she's obviously it's not going to kill him. She's got Sucker Punch in back, which won't kill. This Groudon's nope. bulky. Yep, bulky Groudon. Oh, he just and goes for, for the, the overheat again. He is at minus two. That's probably the most accurate move he's got. Ooh. Holmstrom takes the tournament. Holmstrom takes the tournament. What is he now, two for two? Our he's two for two at our tournaments. Wow. Every All the tournaments that he showed up to for ours, he has taken them. Well, guys, that is going to conclude um, Pokemon section. We are yep. going to move into some Pokemon now. So, again, Hype. yeah, take a super quick break. We're going to set it up on stream, get it going, and we will be right back with some. I'm super hyped for some Pokemon action. It is. Yeah, guys, so don't go anywhere. Thanks again for watching, and we will be right back with some amazing pocket.